Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Trek Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we sit behind me is a brand new 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye Four Horse Gooseneck. Now this setup that we've got, uh, we'll walk you completely through it, but this has been such a popular seller in our three and four horse models. It has a closet tack room on it, uh, but a beautiful setup. We've added some options onto these trailers uh, as we order them, so we'll walk you through that. Before we jump into it, let's take a look at the drawing because I'll give you some specs on this trailer. Like I mentioned, it is, has a closet tack. Ahead of that is a front dressing room, but what we're looking at is this is standard dimensions on this type of a setup. So 6'9 wide, 7 foot tall. This one is 21 foot on the floor. And the reason why is we add a little bit of length in order to do the front dressing room, how we have it set up. To put this closet tack. Now we'll get into all that and this is a really cool setup and for multiple reasons but let's walk you through this. First and foremost the Logan Coach is a galvanized steel frame aluminum body. So we have that strength of that steel. You have a lifetime corrosion warranty being the first owner of it. Uh, that's the difference between black steel and the galvanized steel. Uh, and then on the aluminum body, I think it gives it a cleaner look, more of like those aluminum trailers, and then it lightens it up a little bit. This trailer as it sits is about 40, uh, 5,400 pounds empty. So not overly massive, not extremely heavy, but again, very durable from that standpoint. From a warranty side of it, eight years structure, two years nose to tail on this, and then again, that lifetime corrosion warranty. But let's look at this, underneath the gooseneck, uh, Logan does a couple things. These are standard options, but one of the very first things you'll notice is this vortex lining. It's like a bed liner. It's really strong, really durable. In the stall area, I think it also deadens a lot of the noise, but they incorporate this throughout the trailer. It's really, really strong. Uh, it's, it's, you know, really easy to clean up. You can just power wash it off, but more importantly, the strength that it gives. You know, underneath a gooseneck drop wall, you know, that's a good possibility for a trailer to get really beat up if you live down dirt roads, gravel roads, where you're throwing rocks at high velocity, hitting that aluminum or, you know, steel underneath the trailer itself. So that's usually where we see, you know, steel trailers that have been painted, you get that superficial rust, it breaks that paint, and then it just kind of looks ugly over time. This really gives this nice finished look to this trailer all the time but we're not getting those big dings in it like you would normally see on those type of trailers. So again, they incorporate it throughout. You do have a manual hand crank jack underneath there. Uh, over here is the handle for storage. It goes right down in, under there, but this also doubles as a lug wrench for you. So if you do have to change a spare tire, you've got that on hand. Spare tire is located to the left as we're looking at it from the, the manual jack. This is also an aluminum wheel. So some manufacturers will do four aluminum wheels on the ground and then give you a steel wheel under here, but this is an aluminum wheel as well. <clears throat> so there's different models. This isn't the entry level. This is the next step up uh, for Logan. Their entry level is the Crossfire model. Now those are good trailers, good price point, but there are some differences. One of the first things is, is you'll notice on these tack doors, I want you to notice that they're square at the top. When you get a crossfire, they're rounded at the top. That's a prefab window. So the doors are a lot lighter weight. Uh, in fact, I recommend to all customers that buy that model to lock the tack door in transit because the right bump will get them to pop open. Not to say this can't happen on these if we don't get a solid you know, seal and shut to the, the door itself, but the chances are much less likely to happen. But you'll also notice when you grab one of those doors versus these that are square at the top, that are made at the factory, there's a lot more weight to them. A lot bigger framework in these doors. And again, we're gonna open and close these doors every time we use this trailer, more than likely. So we want a nice heavy duty door. So you get the heavy duty door option. Above each door is gonna be a drip rail as well. So we can keep moisture away from the door seal itself as it comes off the roof that could potentially, you know, freeze up this window it itself as well. Now, this front dressing room, there's a couple of benef benefits to it. It's completely sealed off from our tack room behind it that I'll show you here in a minute. So if you wanted to throw a mattress up here, bed rolls, sleeping bags, you're not in here smelling your tack. 
So you've got windows so you can see out as well. You can create a cross breeze. They have LED lights in here as well. The marine grade carpet on the gooseneck deck, drop wall, and then the floor. And then back behind, it's kind of an L shape. You kind of might have noticed that in the drawing, but it's an L shape. So we've had some customers say they've gone in and put some cabinets, put some shelves. You know, you kind of have a blank canvas here that you can kind of go in and do some things to this to finish it off and make it, you know, a little bit more user friendly for you. Again, all that vortex lining is used throughout. Multiple LED lights in there, so you have plenty of light coverage. I mean, around that back corner, that could be a spot where, you know, you could lose a little bit of light and get really dark, but as you can see, they've got a light over that, in that area. And then, again, behind it is this closet tack. And these closet tacks have become extremely popular. The reason why is most setups on these slant loads in today's market you know, three and four horse short, or a three and four foot short walls in these three and four horse goosenecks. So what we've done is we've done a five foot short wall on this. So we added anywhere from a foot to two foot of length to this trailer, not anything substantial where it's gonna really change the way this trailer tows and the way you've got to really maneuver this trailer. But only adding a little bit of length gives us the ability to do this, this closet tack. So. First and foremost, let's look at it. We got a swing out four tier saddle rack. Since this is a four horse, you get the standard four and a three horse, you'd get three, but you do have a spot for a fourth one if you wanted to add it. But now we've got the ability to grab saddles from out here. We don't have to crawl in anywhere. Some manufacturers will really tighten this up. So a much smaller door, but then also move this wall back to where we hardly have any other storage besides just the saddle rack but I really like how they give us a little bit more room. So now we have some floor space in here. You could throw some, some buckets, some feeds, some smaller items in there. Uh, maybe you wanna travel with some steps to hop into these two. It's a great place to just set it right inside. And then also behind the saddle rack is usually wasted space as well, but behind there is a 25 gallon water tank. So now we can carry water on hand for the horses. Maybe we're traveling, maybe you're waiting for you know, to uh, align somewhere in traffic. You have a finicky horse that only likes water. You get to an event late and you're parked clear out in the back of the uh, parking lot and you can't get to a hydrant. Now we have the water on hand right here. LED light up above the door so it shoots down in there. And then you've got your bridle hooks with carpet behind those as well. And I like that carpet behind bridle hooks so we're not having that tack swing against the wall creating a lot of noise but also possibly doing damage to the actual bridle hooks themselves. And then on the door, another one of those heavy duty doors, four tier blanket pole rack on the door itself. It's got a snap, so it holds it in place, but it does swing out. And then a brush tray down below for some smaller miscellaneous items. I'm gonna go ahead and shut these. On this closet tack door, you'll notice it has the actual uh, latch, but then also a uh, paddle latch that goes across it. Kind of that butterfly style. And the reason why is because if for some reason this tack door comes open and we're traveling down the road, you know, we usually have wind pushing against the door. So it keeps it against the trailer to where this one, if this one does happen to come open, it's going to swing and go against the trailer. So having a couple pieces there just to kind of hold it in place is a good option. I also like the window in the door because that can't. we do have that uh, our saddles and our blankets and our pads and all of our tack in there so it can get kind of that sweaty, musty smell. We can open that up, air it out a little bit. I'll take a step back because this one here is a charcoal metallic color. The charcoal metallic has become very, very popular. I think it ties in extremely well with a lot of the uh, paint schemes that a lot of the truck manufacturers are using today, but it also is a sharp look with incorporating it with the aluminum, you know, mill finish look to it. A lot of the silver that's on the top rail, the bottom rail, door frames, and it ties in. And then this one here, we went with aluminum wheels. That's an upgrade over the standard steel wheels. And this one here, we did the black with silver accent. So again, it works really well with the color of the darker charcoal, the mill finished 
aluminum on the side door frames and then obviously on our door on our window frames like on these bus windows are black so i think it really works well by tying it all in together you have two six thousand pound rubber torsion axles there again the four bus windows on the hip wall four tie rings since it's a four horse you get four and four on each side of the trailer and then you have a marker light now you have these awning lights that you can adjust but you have one on each side of the trailer and one at the rear those are all on one switch so you can turn everything on and you have your light coverage all the way around the trailer and then another light switch at the back that goes into the stall area that i'll show you here in a minute as you get to the back there's your dual 50 50 doors these are independent so you can one open one ahead of the other now on the right hand door you're going to see a weather strip there there's a little gap between these doors when they meet that's just to keep any of that moisture from going in because what happens at the back of the trailer is, is dirt and moisture swirls at the back and it actually tries to suck into the trailer so by having that weather strip it does protect that but also notice again there's all that vortex lining again they incorporate it throughout the trailer they do a great job of that so we get into the stall area one one of the first things i want you to notice is padded dividers the last divider is telescoping as you can see if i go to try to shut these rear doors i can't unless i set this divider about there so as you can see we lose a lot of wasted space but by having the telescoping divider i can shrink it down snap it against the wall and now i can shut the back doors so sometimes these trailers customers want to use them for dual purpose we want to haul some horses maybe we want to haul some livestock maybe we'll haul some toys so instead of having to pull all these dividers out we can actually stack them against the wall if you'd like but they are easy to remove so you've got padded dividers all the way up Again, these all snap together so you can hold them against the wall, but I don't have them snapped. And as you can see, they're staying against that, the driver's side wall there. Now you have an aluminum roof with four two-way roof vents. Since it, again, it is a four horse, you get four of those standard, three, you'd have a three as well. Now those, if we can manipulate air, release air from body heat, uh, maybe in the winter time, we wanna get rid of that hot air as it rises up, let it escape. In the summer months, you can force air down on the horses, open up all the drop windows that we'll show you, but bus windows create some airflow through here, keeping them nice and comfortable. <laughs> the other thing I want you to notice is, is, is that roof has a bit of an arch to it. So that is really important in my opinion. Where this trailer falls price point out there and compared to other manufacturers, they'll have a flat roof. And what happens is that moisture literally just sits there and it eventually will start really eating away at your um, seals on your roof itself. Now you're gonna have to reseal a roof on every single trailer out there. It's just part of the maintenance, but we're not gonna have to do it as frequently on these because it allows that moisture and that snow and that rain, whatever, to get off the roof of this trailer by having that little bit of an arch to it. Where again, those flat roofs, that stuff just sits there. The other thing I mentioned about that warranty early on, eight years and two, as far as structure and hardware, where a lot of the competition that we would compete against with this model right here are gonna offer you a one to five year limited warranty. So they really stand behind the product as far as that's concerned. On these kick walls all the way around, again, vortex lining, you have the flush wall paddle latches for the slam dividers, four of those LED lights in here that I was mentioning. And then the other upgrade in this area here is standard on this model is a wood floor that is vortex line. So they do vortex line that wood flooring. So it gives a lot of longevity to the life of those boards. But in this one, we actually upgraded to the aluminum floor that is gonna have the vortex lining. This is actually called their whizproof flooring uh, that they do on their standard models and then instead of the mats they do the sure grip flooring that porous floor that allows moisture to go down but on this this is the exact same subfloor that we'd be looking at in those aluminum planks of the vortex lining if you do want to go with that sure grip flooring or a self-draining type floor out there this can easily be done now you already have the exact same floor underneath there so that is an upgrade compared to the wood floor on this model now maybe your horses uh, prefers a rear ramp load 
we can add rear ramps to these trailers we just we would probably have to order this one in because of the color of the trailer you know white's more of a standard option our parts department carries a lot of those uh, rear ramps on hand but to color match we'd probably have to order one in take us a couple weeks we could do a hay rack as well for you so there's a lot of stuff after the fact that we can do maybe you want a hydraulic jack it's a lot easier to push a button than hand crank these trailers up and down now as we get to driver's side there's those drop windows i mentioned on the inside there big framework around them as well just like our tack doors again kind of talking about that entry level that crossfire model those are going to have a prefab window so they're a lot lighter weight you literally get them in your hand and it's you know they're a little bit you know a little more flimsy for these you actually have the framework around them um, you know you can actually shake the trailer on those other ones i would not do that but there's a chance of you know if a horse hits one of these you know they could potentially do damage and then you got to replace a window you get the jail bars that drop down and you also have these screens if you have a horse that likes to mess with this type of stuff it's very easy to remove very easy to open and shut for those that might be a little bit more vertically challenged you'll notice that the latches are up here now instead of having to stand on the running board or a wheel something like that they've got this pull bar that you can just grab and then drop them makes a big difference from here to here you know that's at least a 12 inch gap right there that we're looking at you have the drip rails above those windows as well and then again there's a good look at that charcoal metallic with the aluminum the black wheels with silver accents so we carry a lot of these in a three and four horse we have some on hand a lot on order they go pretty fast so don't hesitate uh, but if this is something you're interested in give us a call again maybe one that we have here sitting on the lot is sold but we do have more coming we can let you know you can put your name on them again this is a 2022 logan coach bullseye four horse gooseneck stock number is 5n Two one one eight nine six. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. We do take trade-ins and we do buy trailers. So if you're looking to upgrade into something or you have a trailer you want to turn into cash, give us a call and we can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.